Hey, what's going on? It's Justin Dickmeyer from engineerandtrainingexam.com and in this video we will review the laws of probability that will allow us to determine the probability of an event from the known probability of others events. Before jumping into this review there are a few definitions that we should define up front. When talking events, two events are mutually exclusive if they can't occur at the same time. So two events are mutually exclusive if they cannot occur at the same time. Now the probability of event A occurring given that event B has already occurred is called the conditional probability. Conditional probability. So the conditional probability of event A given event B is also denoted as P A B. So this is the probability of event A occurring given that event B has already occurred. Now the complement of an event is the event not occurring. So the complement of an event is the event not occurring. Now the probability of event not occurring is denoted P A prime. Now the probability that events A and B both occur is the probability of the intersection of A and B. So the probability that both events A and B occur is the probability of the intersection of A and B and that's written as P A I always call it upside down U B the intersection of A and B now if events A and B are mutually exclusive meaning they can't occur at the same time like we stated up here then uh, this value P A upside down U is going to equal to zero. Now the probability that events A or B occur so the probability that A or B occur is the probability of the union of A and B and is, ri is written as P A U B and this is a symbol not it's not U I just always call it U because it's easiest to say but that is the that is the union of A and B now if the occurrence of event A changes the probability of event B then events A and B are dependent on the other hand, if the occurrence of event A does not change the probability of event B, then in events A and B are independent. <clears throat> now the probability of an event occurring ranges from 0 to 1, and the sum of the probabilities of all possible events is equal to 1. So now that we have these definitions out of the way, let's start with the rule the probability rule of subtraction. The probability that event A will occur is equal to 1 minus the probability that ev event A will not occur. So that is to say that the probability that A will occur is equal to 1 minus the probability that event A will not occur. Now when we want to know the probability that two events A and B both occur we are dealing with the situation of the intersection of two events like we defined in the previous slide. And the rule of multiplication is applied. So the rule of 
multiplication. Now the rule of multiplication says that the probability that events A and B both occur is equal to the probability that event A occurs times the probability that event B occurs given that A has occurred. In other words, P A upside down U B is equal to the probability that event A occurs times the probability that event B occurs given that A has already occurred. So here's an example of that. Say we are given a bucket that has six red pucks and four black pucks. So there's ten pucks total in this bucket, six of which are red and four are black. Now two pucks are drawn without replacement from this bucket. What would the probability be that both of the pucks we choose will be black? So in the beginning we have 10 total pucks four of which are black. So the probability that we choose a black puck on our first pick is 4 10. Now remember we're not replacing that puck. So after grabbing this first puck and assuming it was black we now go to grab a second puck. At this point there are nine pucks three of which are black. So the probability that we choose a black puck now on our second pick is three ninths. Therefore, based on the rule of multiplication, P A upside down B is equal to probability of A multiplied by the probability of B given that A has occurred, and that's equal to 4 tenths times 3 ninths, which is equal to 0.13. So this is the probability that we're going to choose um, two black pucks. So when we have two events and we want to know if either of the events will occur, we can use the rule of addition. Rule of addition. So this is when we have two events and we want to know if either of the events will occur. Now the probability that event A or event B occurs is equal to the probability of event A occurring plus the probability that event B occurs minus the probability that both the events A and B occur. So in other words, P A U B is equal to P the probability of A occurring plus the probability of B occurring minus the probability that both B and A occur. So for example, let's say you head out to the library to grab some books. Now the probability that you check out a math book, let's say, uh, is 0.4. And let's say that probability, that's event A, that you check out a math book. And that probability is 0.4. Now let's say the probability that you choose a st or check out a statics book, and we'll call that uh, the second event, B, that probability is 0.3. And the probability that you choose both or check out both books is 0.2. So the probability that you will check out either a book for math, a book for statics, or a book for each is P A is equal to 0.4 plus 0.3 minus 0.2 which is equal to 0.5. So let's wrap up this review with one last example. Let's say that we have a deck of playing cards and we randomly choose one card from that deck. You uh, set a bet with one of your friends that if you pull out a spade or an ace that they have to pay you. And vice versa, if you don't pull out any of these cards then you have to pay them. 
what is the probability that you will win this bet? Let's determine the probability that you will win this bet. Right off the bat, we realize that we are concerned with the probability that event A or event B will occur. So we can use the rule of addition. So first, let's define the events. Event A, or our first event, will be the probability that the car will, card will be a spade. And event B is the probability that the card will be an ace. So we can define the, the following. We know that the total number of cards is 52. We know that there's 13 spades in the deck of cards. So the probability that event A occurs is 13 over 52. And we know that there's four aces in a de deck of cards. So the probability of pulling an ace is 4 over 52. Now there is one ace that is a spade. So the probability that A and B occur is equal to 1 over 52. Therefore, the probability that we choose or pick or you pick either a spade or an ace is 13 over 52, probability of event A, plus 4 over 52, probability of event B, minus the probability that we we choose the ace of spades pretty much, which is 1 over 52, which totals 16 over 52, which is equal to 0 0.31. And we see that our odds are pretty much not so hot on our side, so it was a pretty bad bet. So that's all I got for you guys today, a little review of the rules of probability and how we can use those rules to uh, define probability based off uh, some, uh, some determined events. If you guys have any questions, hop on over to engineerintrainingexam.com and shoot me some suggestions, feedback, um, or just simply ask me a question. Whatever you guys need, I'm here to guide you and help you the best that I'm able. So for now, take care. Thank you.